So these proposals, these projects, um, are coming at a pivotal time in um, um, in the Ecuador's recent history because you're, you're having elections on Sunday, the 19th of February as well. Um, I would I would ask you, are you confident, first of all, going into the elections? And second, um, are you confident that whatever happens um, in the elections, your proposals for uh, more tax justice will actually be carried out? Yes, I think... The elections on Sunday should be a resounding victory for our government, for what we've called the citizens' revolution, for the progressive left in Latin America. I think it's a very important electoral process for Latin America. Um, we're talking about, broadly speaking, three electoral processes, so presidential, uh, people would elect president, vice president, uh, parliamentary, so the National Assembly, um, and obviously there we want a majority in the National Assembly and finally the referendum. So three, three elections after 10 years of what have been, you know, a historic process championing, I think, almost worldwide, certainly in our region, the reduction of poverty, the reduction of inequality with growth. Uh, yeah, something which really recuperated Ecuador from the ashes, you know, from being a virtual failed state uh, with coups all the time, three coups in 10 years, seven governments in 10 years, without counting the overnight junters and their presidents for a day, to a now a country which is much talked about globally, um, and, and a country with a lot of political stability, healthy growth, moving away from its dependency on raw materials, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, in terms of what happens in terms of uh, the tax justice agenda and the fight against tax havens, obviously that will depend on the next government. President Correa is not running uh, for the presidency on Sunday. Uh, there is a candidate for President Correa's party, our party, Alianza País, um, and I'm pretty confident that if he wins, and I'm pretty confident that he will win, uh, then he should, he will follow through with uh, the uh, proposal to fight against tax havens. And of, but of course, also it will depend on the result in the referendum. You know, if Ecuador, if Ecuadorians uh, give a resounding victory to the anti-tax haven referendum, then civil servants will have one year to bring all their assets back to Ecuador. And if they don't comply with this within one year, uh, they will have to uh, step down, including president and, and vice president. This will be uh, the referendum, the result of the referendum will be enshrined in law and it will be enshrined in the electoral law. So uh, if anybody is discovered to have assets in tax havens, they will have to step down. Um, and I, I'm pretty confident that's going to happen.